The strength in a 3D print involves adjusting two parameters, the exterior shell and the infill. Let's start with the outer shell. This is comprised of wall loops and top and bottom shells. You may also hear it described as perimeters. This is the outermost part of the printed object. Walls provide strength, durability, smoothness, and in some cases, water tightness. To adjust your shells, go to Prepare under Process in the Strength tab, you will see Walls. The number represents the number of loops made around the object. More loops will increase strength and water tightness. Less loops will make the object more delicate. Top and bottom shell settings are located below. Here, you can also change how the surface is made with different patterns. Moving on to infill. Infill is the internal structure of the printed object, the material inside the outer shell or perimeter of the print. The infill provides internal support, determines strength, overall weight, and affects the print time. Under the same strength tab below walls and shells, you will see sparse infill. Here, you can adjust the percentage of infill as well as the infill pattern. By default, 15% is set in all profiles and is a good place to start for most prints. Increasing infill percentage will increase strength. Lowering infill will decrease strength. Adjusting these values can help you save on print time and material according to your needs. Infill pattern is a geometric shape of the internal structure. Popular infills are grid, honeycomb, triangles, gyroid, and cubic. Different infills have their own unique properties and can be chosen to optimize strength, flexibility, and material use. In our next video, we will go over supports, the kind of supports, and when to use and adjust them.